Hello everyone, Charlie here. And uh, in this video, I just wanted to give you guys an update of what's going on. I uh, went and saw the endocrinologist yesterday, and I'll be starting my hormones in about four or five days. So, I'm really excited about that. Um, the delay in it is, in case if you're if you're wondering, um, is when you go in for the first time to to see them, at least uh, at least where I'm going, they uh, do blood work and they figure out your levels and exactly what your dose is uh, is going to be, and um, you know from there on out, each time that you go in to to see them. Um, they will do some blood work and see where your levels are at at that time. Uh, there's certain levels that they reach where it becomes a concern, and then uh, there's also um, kind of the the personal comfort of of the individual themselves. You know, if you're feeling great and your levels aren't all the way up to what a a male should be, or vice versa for a female, um, you know, she'll just keep you, or or they, excuse me, will just keep you at um, whatever you are um, currently at, you know, um, as long as it's not too high, you know, or anything like that to where um, it can cause some, some health complications. So, um, like I said in another one of my videos, I'm seeing Dr. Jill Volbrecht uh, over here in Traverse City at um, Munson, and um, she was great. She was super awesome, very friendly, very respectful. Um, the entire office was like that. Um, it was kind of a long appointment, just because I, you know, I had some questions, she had questions. You know, it's your it's your initial, um, your initial visit with them, and um, you know, so uh, obviously it's going to be probably a little longer than you know future appointments, um, but you know we'll see. And then we also had the uh, blood work right after that, so um, you get poked a little bit, obviously, but. Uh, pretty painless the whole thing um, and it's and it's pretty quick I'm kind of excited uh, one thing I learned is that uh, testosterone is a controlled substance so uh, the endocrinologist can only um, uh, give you a prescription for a month at a time but if you are out of town you know if you like to travel things like that that's one thing I brought up to her because that is one thing we like to do um, so if if there's ever a scenario like that, uh, what they will do is send a prescription to wherever you are going, okay? If it's going to be during that, if you're going to be gone during the time of, of your refill. So, um, I go back in three months to see her, see how things are going. We'll do blood work at that time again and uh, see where I'm at, see how I'm feeling, all that kind of stuff. Uh, they did show me how to administer the... Um, shot to myself and not exactly thrilled <laughs> I love tattoos I'm big on that but that's like you know so far down and you know the first couple layers of skin there I'm cool with that kind of stuff when it comes to uh, needles in your veins I freak out and this is not in your veins but it is in your muscle and you know I mean it was it was a good I don't know two two inches <laughs> or so in length and you, you know, you put the whole thing in. So it's because uh, it has to go, you know, deep enough into that muscle tissue, I guess. So, um, and it's also something that I didn't know is that it is a, um, is a gel consistency. It is not, um, like a, a liquid really at all. It's very, very thick. So when you go to inject yourself, it takes time. It's not just inject and you know, bam, you're done. It's like inject and okay, that's way, that's way, that's way. Um, I was told that it will uh, burn, uh, you know, be uncomfortable, things like that. But again, this is something that I want to do, you know, for myself. So um, I don't really see, you know, an issue with it. <laughs> it won't be thrilling, but you'll have to do it once a month. And um, you administer it uh, in one of two places. Okay, one is your thigh. It's the second third of your thigh. So, I don't know if y'all can see me here. Oh. All right, so right here, you break up your thigh into thirds. Okay, and I can actually show you guys when I when I get the prescription. It'll probably be easier to, to show you that way. But um, it'd be right here in this third. 
and it goes in at a 90 degree angle and it's on the outside part of your thigh. Or you can administer it right up here, okay, in your buttocks region there. I guess it absorbs a little better there, um, but it might not be as easy to find that muscle, so we'll see. Uh, Natalie did go with me, uh, that's my wife, and um, so she can, she also, you know, was able to learn, ask questions, things like that, so that was really cool um, to be able to do that experience together. Um, so yeah, I'm excited, I'm so excited to start. Um, I think that's about all though, I don't think I really, Oh, effects. Effects can, um, or results, I guess, uh, can take up to two years to start to see, to start to see them. Um, there's there's going to be multiple things that will happen, and that will be uh, hair, hair growth, um, like body and face, um, acne, which I'm definitely not thrilled about, uh, but I do have pretty good, you know, I don't know, I like to do this cool like clay mask stuff that Natalie got and um, things like that so acne really isn't an issue for me but um, it may become one so hopefully I just keep on top of that and if, you know maybe I throw a little bit of makeup on or something like that um, <clears throat> another thing is uh, anger anger is a big one for uh, female to male um, you know those that are going on testosterone so that will be interesting to see uh, normally I'm a, I'm a chill person, um, I don't really get mad easily, but I know with age I've definitely kind of like, I don't care as much, <laughs> like my filter is kind of off and sometimes I, I do get a little worked up, um, so we'll see how that affects that. Um, sex drive goes up. So Natalie's going to get a spray bottle for me because <laughs> I already have a very, very high um, uh, sex drive, plain and simple. Um, you'll see uh, your body fat distribute differently. No, come here. You'll see your body fat distribute differently. Okay, so a woman normally holds it down here. Come here. Hey, 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 hey. Sorry, guys. Um, UPS truck is here. So, on a woman, it's like hips in like this area right in here. Come here. Come here. Hey, hey, hey. Come here. And that body fat will now distribute up instead. Okay, so, uh, or most of the time that's what it does. Hey, hey. and bring her into the video. <laughs> this is our, our new baby. We also have a, a cat named Master B. He's around here somewhere. Um, this dog is super cute though. Her name's Nala. Um, I think that's about it. I don't think that um, there was really anything else uh, that was covered that It's like a big change or anything. Uh, oh, deepening of the voice. No, that's one. Um, your hair, hairline starts to recede apparently as you get older, not necessarily right away. Um, just like a male would. Uh, what you can do is take um, some supplements such as um, like a lot of vitamin B, biotin, you know, things like that. Um, I already started taking biotin and an increase in and just regular, it's like a Oh, B complex. So those are two things you could add into your your daily diet um, if you're concerned about your hair. I am so. Um, that's about it. So you guys have a good one, and I will talk to you later. Say bye now. Say bye. Look up there. Can you see? There you go. <laughs> She's just not having it. Not. Talk to you guys later.